Greetings and welcome back to Staxel. I'm Catherine Sky and I have spent several hours today spreadsheeting the game. Oh, looks like Nemo got... He's trying to get back in. And Pearl is in the corral. Hmm. Kind of wonder if I should let her in. Though I think the sign is in front of there. She can't get past the sign, I don't think. Um... All right, let's grab these things. We're going to try to go and get a, um, a capture crate for her. So maybe we can get her back in the corral. Uh, so anyway, yeah, I spent a couple hours doing spreadsheets for the game today. Um, figuring out like what's the most um, beneficial monetarily monetarily beneficial crops to grow. And generally, the more expensive it is, the more it's worth. So you can always go with the most expensive thing. Um, of course, there are exceptions. Like I just found out with the bushes, let me just start cutting these things up. Uh, with things like bushes, which we'll get to in summer, like raspberries and blueberries and blackberries, um, they don't pay themselves off after the first year. So I'm really hoping that they um, they last through the winter. <laughs> I have some in my test game and um, I have not gotten to winter yet. I'm kind of in the beginning of autumn. Just really kind of trying to research this game so I can give you guys the best uh, playthrough possible in this particular save. Um, but yeah, it's uh, it's interesting. They don't even cover the cost of the, the actual bushes. So I'm hoping they survive the winter. In this game, we are going to be making a like almost a permanent plantation of bushes. All right, through the magic of editing, we are done cutting the sweet potatoes just about. <laughs> oh my gosh, this process takes so long. Um, luckily, in the next season, we're going to use machines that are cheaper, um, and we'll be able to have multiples of them. This is great for now. It is spring 11th, so we are going to stop planting stuff because there's not a lot of crops that are beneficial that we can plant. I mean, they won't make us a lot of money. They'll make us very little money. So we're going to kind of not do that. Let's catch this guy and instead kind of focus on other things that we can get. Oh, I forgot about these creature bells. Sometimes like you, you have your eyes tuned for something and I have my eyes not tuned for those things for a very long time now. So um, those can be sold. They're like little plant pickups, kind of like mushrooms or whatever. They're uh, not creature bells, creature buds, pardon me. I don't know what they do. Um, I've tried leaving them in the ground, but they don't seem to do much. So I just kind of sell them. Let's get this one and our chopped, chopped stuff. Oh my God, look at that. Uh, this is really a good thing. Very, very good thing. All right, sell the creature buds now. We need to buy a capture crate. Here's a capture crate. Wow, it's only 210? I think some of the prices must have changed because when I bought one in my other game, it was like 560. Um, so I'm wondering if the, the devs are probably doing rebalancing of stuff, which is great. It's good to see that happening because obviously these um, animals, no matter how hard you try, sometimes they do get out of where you intend them to be, which is what exactly happened there. So what shall we buy? Should we buy anything? I had a quick look at my spreadsheet and sorting it by profit available to us. We could buy some beetroots. Today is the last day to plant them. Uh, so we could do that. We could get 30 seeds. Hmm. Is that what we want to do? We won't make much profit on each. We'll make about 10 profit on each. So that's not that much. Hmm. But, I mean, it's something better than, better than nothing, I guess. Okay, we'll buy 90 seeds. And, uh, yeah, we're gonna have to really start hoeing and make sure we can, we can accommodate all those seeds. Or else we'll have to save them for, um, the next season. Beetroots actually also grow in autumn and winter, so... Um, and how did I find out this information? I, in my other game, I went and I bought the seed catalog or the, um, 
the stuff catalog, shipping catalog, I think it's called. And they do list all of these things on there. And they do tell you the number of days it costs to grow and all that kind of stuff, which I did not know about. So I don't have to actually measure the, the amounts like I thought I did before. So that was a good thing. Okay, let's make sure we get just as many seeds as we can in here. Oh boy, let's get maybe even a couple more rows over here. Let's see. Let's take these guys out. Because I might be able to actually... Oh, there's another set of seeds. I think I'm going to wait for those mixed seeds. In case there's something fancy, I will simply... Um, okay, let's start here. I'll save them for the next season in case they're like a long growing thing. I don't want them to just die off. Oopsies. Okay, there we go. Okay, wow. Well. Running too fast does not work. <laughs> Seems like it would, but it doesn't. It doesn't actually work. So that's okay, though. There we are. Get this area cleared. I like those flowers there. Kind of want my farm to have kind of a natural look. Um, some flowers here and there and that kind of thing. I haven't decided where I'll put my trees. I um, I would like to buy some trees, uh, start some kind of an orchard, um, because that seems like it would be beneficial to us. Okay, I'm gonna probably have my berry bushes along this side of the house. I feel like I can leave maybe like two, two things here, two rows from the house, and then I'll put the, the row of berry bushes we do need to get this guy off. Come on, Rock. So for the moment, we can actually use this area uh, for crops. Okay. There we go. Shame we didn't get that many seeds from those, but oh well. It's okay. Uh, and actually, and um, this, all of this effort is going to pay off because in the next season we will be using all of this area for our crops. Gosh, it's already evening time. Well, we've spent this day very profitably, I feel. Okay, let's get our seeds in so we don't forget about them. Now we definitely don't want the beetroot to go off um, off season because they do not survive in the summer. But we can certainly make this make an effort over here and get this stuff done. It's one, one, two, three, four. Ooh, I just thought of something. Um, yeah, that could be interesting. All right, let's go see. We may even want to go and get more beetroot seeds. So we have, yeah, we can probably go get more. Just really max out the harvest here. Um, those are going to give us the most profit of what we have available to us, which is a good thing, which is a very good thing. Of course, it would be really nice to find another queen bee. I need to go and out bug hunting again. Um, and probably the next few days will be great for that. Okay, here we go. Let's get beetroot. Okay. Just gonna spend all the money. There we go. We have lots and lots of beetroot. <laughs> Seeds. Do we even have a second row of packets? No, just the one. Wow, we managed to buy 99, huh? I thought it would have gone over for sure. I don't know what the stack size is. No, we definitely don't have any in the other parts of our inventory. So that's okay. We're gonna hurry. Must hurry. 
Gotta make it before the moon, but thankfully it's raining. So we get our crops insta-watered, which is a great, great thing. Come on, there we go. It's easiest to do things in rows, just in terms of, you know, watering and picking things up. So the longer the row, the better it is, generally. Let's go plant, plant, plant. Go, go, go. Okay, just a few more hours left here. But we'll easily make it, I think. Not a problem. All right, there we are. I think we'll get our scythe here and just delete these grasses. Okay, that looks pretty good. Now, inevitably, some of this grass will probably grow back over the plowed area since we're not actually utilizing it for crops, but it'll give us a little bit of a uh, head start on the rest of our um, stuff, just in case we don't have time to later. Now, these are a problem as well. Uh, these are, they're not, they're, they're actually flooring tiles. I think they're cobblestone. So we have to take them out with a hammer they're not um, rock. They're just cobblestone paths. So let's take that out. So we can have a maximum area for our growing area. So also one thing that I, I, for, I, I mentioned in the first uh, episode, but I hope that everyone has watched that. If you haven't, that's okay too, because um, I'm going to repeat it right now. <laughs> but um, one of the things that I'm doing in this playthrough is really min-maxing the whole experience. I highly encourage you, when you're playing on your own, to to just play and enjoy yourself and try out different crops. Have a nice time with them. We need to get some. We need to get some of this stuff. One, two, three, four. Um, yeah. Uh, enjoy yourself because that's one of the things that gave me a lot of pleasure in my other playthrough is just being able to research and have a nice time with all the things that are in the game so it's really a lot of fun okay that's interesting oh no <laughs> I forgot to catch the cow whoopsies okay that's okay though we're not worried we're fine there we go okay okay we um we have some uh, ground that we can replace there and my poor cow probably went hungry and I feel bad oh look oh Bella brought me a, a gift a roughly dress how pretty okay thank you Bella I forgot to mention I when I loaded the game it said that oh that's so good thank you Bella woohoo and uh, these things are quite expensive too so you can actually sell them if you don't want them um, but I'm going to keep this one because I like it. It's pretty. That's what we're going to do. Um, we're going to put this on actually right now. And I keep saying, actually, pardon me for that. I am just thinking about many things at the same time. And sometimes your brain doesn't work as you expect it to. All right. So let's go to the wardrobe. We're going to take off. This is a very cute cat sweater, but take it off. <gasps> pretty. Oh my God. That's pretty. Um, I like it. It's nice. All right, we're gonna put our pants, we're gonna put our previous outfit, just the whole thing on the shelves there. Okay, great, no, okay. Poor Pearl can't get in. Pearl is happy though, maybe she can reach the food from out here. But we're gonna capture her in a box. Oh, we got an egg, look, awesome. All right, so let's pick up the egg uh, and then let's put Pearl back down here, hooray. I hope she didn't like climb over the grass. Hmm, I don't know. We need some chicken feed out here, I think. So let's put that down. All right, Cluck, how you doing? Cluck is happy. Pearl is hungry. All right. And Numu, Nimu. <laughs> We're gonna have to buy a um, a milking thing, I think. Let's see. Let's get one of the trough things here. Let's fill that with food. 
and we can pick up the cow cow splats they're called i was going to call them a cow patty uh, that's what we call them down south but uh anyway bella's a happy cat has food and so every now and again your pet will bring you um some some prizes some presents so keep a watch out for that uh we need to water all these things because i want to get a little bit of money here and it's not going to bring that much money but it's something it's something okay they should bring us like 10 profit each i believe Okay, these are the harder bits. Oh, ooh. Okay, we're gonna uh, harvest these first. These are cucumbers. Now they will live through the next season, so we'll keep on harvesting from these plants. Just wanna make sure and check that all the squares are watered because sometimes if you have your really tall plants it kind of <laughs> doesn't work as well they sometimes the thing skips okay so these guys are actually done we can just harvest these and be done with this okay those are not done but yeah walking in rows is pretty efficient generally you can even walk backwards and still plant uh obviously in, and uh, water behind you I think if we have enough money from the sweet potatoes today, we can look at the tree selection. I'd like to do that. All right, Bella, how you doing? Doing good, cat? Bella's hungry. Now that's so weird. I just put in two foods for her and she's still hungry. It's like, no, you should not be hungry. You've eaten two things of food already. And now she's eating again. I think there must be some kind of a small bug with that. I don't know. Gluck, you're good. Cows are good. We need to get a milker. Okay, so let's go inside. We're going to cut up some of these things. Ooh, and we don't have a boiler yet. Oh, no. All right, let's cut up the sweet potatoes. And with the egg, now we can sell the egg as it is, uh, or we can make a little bit of money uh, by boiling it. Right now, the cost between boiling and frying is it's the same. Fried egg or boiled egg, it costs the, or it, it sells for the same amount of money. So my choice is boiling because a boiler is only 200 per station and a fryer is 1,000 for a station. So we're going to try to buy um, a couple of boilers or maybe at least a boiler and a cow milker thing uh, at, uh, at the store today. All right, so let's get the chopped sweet potato and try to sell this stuff. Let's go out to the world. Just looking for any insects. Okay. I think we're generally all right here. Some acorn. Those creature buds have not respawned. Uh, so. Is there anything over here? Some fireflies, but eh, those aren't worth that much. Ooh, brown mushroom, cool. I'm sure those mushrooms are going to be uh, used in cooking at some point. All right, so let's sell the the potatoes. Nine hundred. That's good. It's enough right now. Cow splats. It says it's not for everyone, but plants love it. I don't know if we need like a new recipe for that or not. I have no idea. Um, I have, you can sell it for a little bit of money. Let's see how much you can sell it for. Six. But I'd rather use it as fertilizer if we could fertilize stuff. So let's just sell the other items. The, um, the snail. And, oh, the cucumbers as well. All right, we're going to keep these seeds, keep the mushrooms and the egg for now. Okay, so cucumbers, 300. Excellent. Yay, I'm excited about that. So let's go, let's go back to the store and um, I'm gonna buy probably a couple of boiling stations. 
Actually, let's buy our milking thing first. Milker is 80, so it's pretty cheap. Do we need any food? Maybe cat food, maybe trough food. Here we go, pet food. And then trough food. And now we wanna buy boiling stations. Baking, seed maker. Um, I've tried the seed maker, by the way. Okay, let's get two boiling station for now. And what it does, it's kind of like the thing in uh, Stardew Valley, the seed thing. It gives you between one and three seeds per um, per vegetable that you put in there, per fruit, whatever. Um, which is kind of iffy because it's not actually beneficial unless you uh, get three every time. So I kind of like, eh, not a great, not a great trade-off. Let's uh, move this thing here. Get rid of these just junk stuff in here. We're gonna turn this into a little bit of a factory. Um, spider webs don't are not pick upable, so we're gonna get our boiling stations. Make sure you put them the correct side out. Um, there we go. And this is so we can have two things boiling at once. Um, and we're gonna get we're gonna need this much more once we get into. Uh, the sec the summer, uh, and we'll get to there in a second, but let's make a boiled egg real quick. Do we need to cut anything? I think we're good. Let's just place this candle somewhere. Maybe in that corner. Can we put it? Can I place it? No? Okay. For some reason, I can only put it in the air. So it's a magical candle floating in the air. Got our boiled egg, which is good. Let's put some of these items on the shelf. I want to put the crates and the cobblestone pathway right now. Though I suppose we could possibly put the um, the pathway in the garden. Like here, you know? Oh, there's another cow splat. How nice. Okay, so let's see if our cows are ready for milking. Normally I milk them and pat them first thing in the morning. Oh, there's Bella. Oh, we did get milk. Excellent. Pearl has no milk. Okay, that's fine. So Pearl got... Oh dear, Bella. What happened to you, pet? Dear. Let's see if I can... Why are you trying to run that way? Pet. Oh my gosh. Just get out of here, please. Don't, don't even go there, please. It's like, just don't. I don't know. It's cats. Cats do things like this. I don't know why they do. <laughs> Hopefully, maybe I should put that trough one away or something like that. Alright, so this is one of our tools, the milking tool now. And it looks like we could get some of this. I want to get these rocks out of my inventory as well. Cow splats can go there rocks. Milk we're going to save because with milk we're going to need later. Um, let's get this cow food. Good. Okay, so the farm looks pretty pretty well going. Uh, we watered everything. Yeah, it's a very bad thing if you forget to water stuff. Now the rocks, it's like, eh, I don't know what to do with them. I'm just going to put them kind of next to the house, I guess, right here. Because I don't know what else to do with them. They're fine, I guess. Um, all right, so now we want to get some of these little bits of grass in. Long green grass, regular green grass. Okay, we're going to fill these um, areas. Ooh, cucumbers, nice. Any more? Nope, we're good. All right, so we're just going to fill these guys, and it doesn't matter which we use. I guess we could use the plain ones first. And then we'll use the ones with least numbers. So the fours, and we don't care if there's grass because all of this is going to be plowed anyway. Okay. All right, good. Okay, nice. So let's get our uh, hoe out here. Very nice. Are they jumping up again? Dear God, please don't do that. <laughs> please don't do that, Nemo. 
Ah, oh, these animals. They just love to get into trouble. That's what I think. Okay, so what we could do is dig up some of this path and actually put the cobblestones in. Um, that sounds like a nice thing. We have several of them. I've got 25, in fact. So, oh my goodness, my Araminta, hello. Oh my goodness, what a just, just loves to just jump on my table and arch her back and say, hello, I am the magnificent cat. Pat me, please. And I do. Um, very important to pat your cat. So take a break, pat your cat. It's all good. You can always pause and come back. I'll be here, I promise. Okay, can you um, relocate to the chair, my pet? Good girl. Okay. Yes, interfering with the mouse is not ideal for sure. Okay, cobblestones. Let's go. Um, we can put these in. Kind of blend in with these other rocks. That's okay too. It's not looking too bad. And then we'll make a nice little corner here. Um, six is it? No. It's five for the hammer. I'm gonna take these guys out. Maybe make kind of a mixed pass. Uh, get this and oh, we want to use our grassy one there, grassy over here. Okay, and then our shovel over here. How many do we have? 19, all right. One, two. These should not be there. Anyway, we'll have plenty to go to up to the house in any case. Start getting this place to look nicer. We might even plant like flowers here instead of having these look tall grasses growing. All right. Um, so now we have three of these rough stone things. I think we should put that in somewhere. Maybe like one. two and three just so we use up the stack mostly I don't really want the whole stack in my inventory on the shelf or whatever okay there we go looking pretty good all right let's get our scythe out okay these guys are all done then scythe um, cut these grasses thank you I'm quite pleased with how this is looking. That's not too bad. Looking good. Wow, this is kind of brownish looking. That's okay though. Um, let's see, I think, I think that's about what we want to happen. Oh yes, we also have some gaps. I forgot about those other gaps in, uh, in the other area there. So let's just use these guys for now. Just fill these up. And we'll get the other grass because I don't want to put cobblestone here just in case we need to plow it make room for more crops and uh, looks like these are also cobblestone so we'll take these out as well not exactly sure how I want to arrange things oh we've run out so we need one two three more blocks of um, of dirt let's go and dig those from the hillsides very briefly oh hello okay so we have one butterfly to sell okay we were on were we here gathering this dirt completely forgot where we went to gather dirt kind of like to have only like one quarry at a time okay it was right over here it was right here you can tell we needed what three excuse me okay and that's just fine any uh, insects in these trees here let's check that out hmm all right good 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 Yeah, there's still this whole huge back area that can be um, worked and plowed. I might even start my orchard. Maybe I should start it around this tree. Ooh, we forgot to look at the trees again. Silly me. Oh, there's a bee. How nice. Kind of forgot that he lived here. 
All right, let's go inside and put some of these blocks up on the, uh, the shelves. Don't really like to carry a lot of blocks with me. All right, that's gonna be a sellable thing. Not too. Okay, good. And we'll put away our mushroom and our these blocks. I feel like I should have a whole other bookcase just for blocks. Oops, my mouse is acting funny. Pardon me as I just reset it. Sometimes it does that. Okay. Bees. Do we have enough bees? Nine of ten bees. All right, I'm gonna put this last bee in here. And now we're gonna have three days remaining for honey production. All right, all the animals are going to sleep. I think we can go to sleep as well. Let's just do that. Okay, it's now spring 13. Okay, space and space. This house is so claustrophobic. I really need to make it taller um, <laughs> because it's... No! How did you get out? No! No! All right, I'm gonna get rid of this rock. I'm also gonna get rid of this tall grass. Yeah, that is extremely annoying. Because um, when they get out... The biggest problem is, of course, that they... Come on. There we go. As you have to pay to put them back in. It's very irritating. I wish I knew how they got out. I really do. Right. That does not make me happy. Cow! Why you do? Aye. Alright, let's see if anything's ready. These guys are ready. We have quite a number of these sweet potatoes done today. So we're going to, um, I'll probably cut them up off camera again, cause it'll take a while. But for things like this, it's almost really good to have just a second cutting station to go back and forth between, um, like we're going to do with the boiling stations, which we haven't actually done yet. but. You don't have to wait as long because you're doing two at the same time. But unfortunately, a cutting station is worth about a thousand money. All right, Nemo's happy. Let's see if we can get milk. Yeah, there we go. All right. How about Pearl? Okay, Pearl has no milk. Don't know why. How about Cluck? How you doing? Not going to try to milk Cluck, but Cluck provided us an egg. Hooray. So, we can set up these guys to cut and meanwhile get the egg to boil nope oh no <laughs> that was not what I wanted to do I clicked the wrong part of the station okay we got our bo boiled egg all right, let me cut all these guys up and then we'll go to town all right we're down to our last few I have to say that this processing part of the game is probably the most one unfun of the whole things. I mean, especially that it's not automated. At least the wood is automated. I like that you can craft different things with different ingredients. Um, like we've seen with uh, the lumber and making the, uh, the cow troughs. And you can do the same with cooking. But man, um, having all those things and waiting and waiting and waiting is very, very tedious. So I hope the devs can kind of streamline that process, either process them all at once or give automatic feeders for them or something um, because it really is very, very tedious uh, to do. So, okay, we have quite a number of things to sell. Really glad about that. So we'll just go there and it's raining. Yes, rain is good. 30 things, nice. We have 5,000 petals, which is great. Um, oh, we need to sell our our eggs as well. 186 for two boiled eggs. Okay, and there we go with the snail. Right, now we have... Well, credenza, how nice. Um, 
Yeah, we have options here. We can, what I would like to do is go to the store. And um, we'll go and see about trees. I'd like to buy a couple of trees uh, so they can start growing before autumn. And autumn is when they generally have the stuff. Now, uh, the purple packets are, are trees. We've got mangoes and oranges, peaches, apples, coconuts, lime, tangerine, pear, kiwi, and dragon fruit. I think I would like to get some dragon fruit trees because going by the prices, and I have no by, by no means tested out all of the, uh, the prices here, um, but going by the, the price, I think it's probably best to get the most expensive. Let's get one dragon fruit tree and one coconut tree. And the rest of the money I would really like to save uh, for our next um, planting season in the summer. It's just a couple of days away. Oh, what is this? Oh, we found a yellow voxel boy. Ooh, I bet somebody's looking for this. Okay, let's ask uh, Cecile. Do you want to know how the lights work? I can't help you. Countless research projects, projects have proven fruitless. We disproved the existence of the lumin luminiferous ether. There's no light emitting photon energy source. And it's definitely not magic. Okay. <laughs> what I'm going to do, we're going to go to um, the, um, the bar, tavern in place, and ask the proprietor thereof if anyone is in trouble or anyone needs anything. Oh, getting a bit of a lag there. All right. Hey, Rowan. Good to see you. All right. We want to hear about the rumors. Supposedly, Leif is having a little trouble. Thing seems things aren't perfect for Eliza either. So we're going to visit Eliza and Leif and see if either of them is missing this item. Now, you'll periodically come across stuff like this, or you can ask them, and then you'll find out if there are items missing. So wonderful work, Catherine of Sky. That barn almost brought a tear to my eye. If you haven't been to see him already, I think Maximilian would love to hear about it too. Okay, so that's that quest finished, which we didn't quite get that from her yet. Do you think you could deliver this pink letter to Cecile for me? Sure. Okay, so she's given us another quest. All right. So obviously it's uh, Leaf who is lose lost his voxel boy. Um, we'll look for Cecile as well as we go along. We talked to her earlier. There she is. Of course, we can look on the map as well. We can see their their faces, which is very handy. Hey, Cecile, how you doing? Oh, is that pink letter for me? Indeed. Thank you. Please take this for your trouble. Okay, we got a hockey ball. <laughs> Don't know what we'll do with that, but that's okay. Hey, Leaf, how you doing? Oh no, I can't find my yellow voxel boy anywhere. What should I do? My life is ruined. <laughs> uh, I'll go look for it. Yeah, so please bring it to me as soon as you find it. We have found it already. Oh, you found it. Thank you. Thank you so much. What are you waiting for? Hand it over. They're kind of rude, I have to say, when they uh, accept this is, accept your item back from them. Okay, we got a gift from him. Fireworks launcher. Okay, cool. I don't know how much these things are worth, but anyway, so hit it with a stick. I guess we need a hockey stick. So here's the information on the dragon fruit and the coconut tree. Uh, so let's plant these trees. Now trees are different than other plants. Uh, they require four tiles, two by two. Um, so we need to have a special place for them, but they grow in plowed soil. So we'll go ahead and uh, and make a spot for them. Kind of tempted. Wait, did our cow get out again? Oh no, both cows are in the... They just leap over the, uh, the edges whenever they want to. Right, okay, it's all good. Um, I feel like I would like my orchard maybe around here, this area. Or maybe even along the fence. That, that might be a good idea. Okay, so fireworks launcher, we'll put those things on the shelf. I can see really no use for those things, but um, that's probably just me. Okay. Pick that up. So I'm thinking we could have a walkway, then plow, 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 and then have two rows of trees, essentially here, starting here, and then we can have a walkway here, 
on a walkway here. I think that'll be fine. All right, let's have our dragon fruit tree go here. Or is it nine? Oh, I think it's nine. I think it's nine. Okay, so we need more space. So this is a three by three. Never mind, it's three by three, I think. Not two by two. So this is three. That's another three. Okay, so let's put our uh, coconut tree here. Really? Coconut tree needs more space? Okay, really? Mind your head. Okay. Is it five by five? I'm now kind of like, how big is this? I've never grown a coconut tree before. I have no idea how big they get. big. That's, that's a big tree. So it's, let's see, one, two, three. Oh, so it's four by four, actually. Well, there'll, there'll be a gap. Um, and maybe we'll only put a small tree out here. Well, this should be interesting at the very least. <laughs> Man, that's kind of cool. Okay, nice. Look at this Nemu trying to get out. Oi. Mm -mm -mm. How you doing, Pearl? You a happy cow? Good. Good pearl. Nice. All right. Um, I think that's pretty much all that we want to do in here for now. We could go and collect stuff from the world. Let's put down this rock. These rocks are kind of useless here. Let's go out and hunt some insects. Maybe we'll find a bee. Another queen bee. Because one of the most profitable things that you can do is make honey. Honey is very, very lucrative. I think this rain is giving me some lag issues here. Just slightly. Whoops, wrong key. I'm alternating, picking up various things and it's not working as well as I want it to. All right, here is green dragonfly. And of course, as we do this, we're building up our bug collection, which is kind of nice. Okay. Let's see where else we want to go. Come on, bugs. I've noticed that if you go out too late hunting for bugs, there aren't as many, or certain bugs like don't show up at night. In my other game, I found an area where a queen bee spawns, and I can go there very regularly and collect her. But if I go at night or in the evening hours, she's not there. She disappears. So, um, and it's not because, you know, I've waited like three days and normally they respawn every one to two days. So, um, Ooh, hello bee. Hmm. Is there anything I can put here as a marker for a bee? No, I guess not. Darn it. It's okay though. But yeah, I think it, toward the evening hours, and I'm not sure what time it is that the bees go in to hide or go into sleep, um, but it is toward the evening time. I was lucky that I found that one. Unless it's just the queen bee that, that hides at night. I don't know. But it's definitely worth marking your spot on the map. I mean, maybe you would even want to do it with like some cobbles, like with a red X in the, in the landscape with some, some blocks or something so you could see it from the map view. Um, mine happened to be right next to one of those abandoned cottages. So that was really quite handy. <laughs> it's like, aha, I know where this is. That's, that's very, very useful indeed. So, all right, let's see. Any more insects that we can find? Probably not. Um, yeah, it's getting kind of late. But I'm glad we got to work more on the farm. I feel like sometimes there's this great gap because of 
the time it takes for crops to grow and things like that. And it's like, okay, what do we do now? Yep, we'll hunt some bugs, right? So, wait. Oh, I, I thought there were seeds on the ground, but it's just little um, sort of sparkles when you pick stuff up. But yeah, it's just hunting stuff. Not even going to bother with that seaweed. I haven't found a recipe for the seaweed yet, so. But yeah, that's something that you can do to make a little extra money if you want to. But I think we're going to go home. There's a swirly shell, some more seaweed. All right, and we can go just through the teleport. I like the teleport. It's very, very handy. Um, yeah. There we have our farm. And we, we picked up a number of things. I guess we can go sell stuff while we're while we're back home. It's getting close to um, nighttime, sleep time. All right. And we'll see if we got a little bit more money. Because all of this is going to help us. Uh, in the summertime when we can start planting more crops. Um, the cucumbers, of course, will outlast the um, the change of season, which is nice. But a lot of the other crops are like one season only, so it kind of it is paid off for me to play my other games so I don't mess up in this one, because I know in my other game I planted... <laughs> one of the crops too late, i.e. the uh, sweet potatoes, and I lost a lot of money. Lots of money I lost, so that wasn't great. Definitely not great. All right, so that's all of this. Do we need these things? I guess we could try them out. Um, I kind of like normally don't care about stuff like this, uh, like the little um, toys and things in games like this. I don't uh, was it Terraria that had one of those? Or I know Starbound had some stuff like that, some toys. But it's kind of like, eh, okay, fine, sure, whatever. Uh, but we'll try uh, getting the hockey thing. I know there's some goals that um, that you can get, little standing goals. So I guess you could play in multiplayer um, those kind of games with people. All right, so I think I'll probably leave it here, go to bed, and I'll see you in the next episode. So thank you so very much for joining me. Take care of yourselves and each other, and I'll see you next time.